what's going on everybody hey welcome back to another training video lesson again um, i'm going to continue my series talking about the thinkorswim platform by td ameritrade now in this video lesson i am going to show you beginners how to add studies and save study sets to your chart and more specifically i'm going to show you the exact studies that i'm using and exactly how to add them to uh, your chart. Plus, I'm going to show you a couple other cool things related to the Thinkorswim platform, okay? Now, if that sounds good to you, you know what to do. One, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Two, hit that little bell to be notified whenever I shoot a brand new video. Three, make a comment, a nice comment if you like the video, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this uh, Thinkorswim tutorial, how to add studies and save study sets and more specifically, my exact studies that I use throughout my training video lessons. Have a great day. All right, before we start into this video lesson, I want to just say that today we're going to be looking at the TD Ameritrade platform, Think or Swim. I am not affiliated with TD Ameritrade. Our policies are completely separate. Everything we talk about in this video lesson is just for educational purposes only. I'm not recommending that you use TD Ameritrade. When it comes to choosing a broker, you make the recommendations based on your own personal experiences and your own analysis and research, right? Enjoy this video lesson. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, welcome to this uh, little video lesson. And in this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to add your studies to your charts, okay? So you guys watch the lives. You see my charts, but what I want to do is just walk you through how to actually add the studies to the chart. So I've got a study set right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to clear it off, okay? I'm going to clear this entire study set off to where it looks like probably a lot of yours right there, okay? So clean chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some indicators and some studies to this. So we go up here to studies, edit studies. Now what we're going to add is we're going to start with the exponential moving average. So we're going to just going to type in EXP and then you're going to see moving average exponential. I want you to double left click it twice, double click it, double click it again, double click it again. So three times you're going to do that. Okay. So we've got the moving average. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to 8. So this is going to be the exponential moving average 8. And I am going to make it blue. And I want to do width 2. Okay? That's just the preference that I like. Moving average, the second one, we want to click this little wheel. We want to change it to 21. Okay? 21, I like to make that red. And I'm going to leave that 1. Okay? You can change it to different thicknesses depending on your liking. But we're going to do that. Now, the next one I'm going to change to 34. Okay? 34. Right there. And I'm going to make mine pink. Pink. And I'm going to do it too. I don't know. I just like pink. So 8, 21, and 34. Okay? We're not done yet. But watch. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And now you can see what we got. Okay? Just like that. You know, I'm going to change that pink. That's a little bit different than the pink I normally like. So let's go here and click on the pink color. And if we click more, it'll take us to right there. I like this one right here where it's kind of a purplish type of pink. Hit apply. There you go right there. So now we have the 8, 21, 34. Now, one of the things I want to alert you to really quickly is your candlesticks might look like this. They might not. So I'm going to go up here to this little gear. I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to go to Appearance. And then right here where it says it's got Chart Type, you can change it. What we're going to do is we're going to do Candle, and then where it says Fill Up and Fill Down, I'm going to uncheck Fill Up. Make sure this is filled down. Everything else, you can pause it. If you don't want the grid, you can remove it, but I like the grid. So Appearance, boom, Apply. Now we got it like that. Okay, so next thing we're going to go to study and we're going to add, and I'm going to type in Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands right here, double click. Okay, now you can click this wheel 
You've got the mid. What I am going to do is I'm going to take off this mid line. So I'm going to check right there. Unshow plot. Lower line, I'm going to make it black. That's just the way I like it. And then I'm going to go right here. Boom. And I can leave it one. Upper line, I'm going to do it the same. Black right there. And again, if you have any problems, just pause this video or go back. Okay? So you want to have make sure that show studies there. So your upper band should like look like this. Your lower band should be no mid. Click apply. You're going to see what it looks like. All right. So we are moving on. The next thing I want to add for right now, study, edit. I am going to go up here and I'm going to type in TTM. TTM squeeze. Okay? Double click it. And then you hit apply. And there you go. So all you got to do too, if you want to expand it, you right click on the chart and you auto zoom out. Now, there are some other indicators that I use. Okay, those are paid indicators. Those are paid indicators. I didn't create them. So you can always message me. But these are free indicators that come with Thinkorswim. Now, what we're going to do also is we're going to go right back to study, edit, and now I want you to just type in SIM. And then you're going to see simple move on average. Double click it, double click it, double click it. So three simple move on average. So this first one, I'm going to do the wheel, and I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to type in 50. I like to make that one black. You can leave that one. That's perfectly fine, and hit OK. The next one I'm going to do is 100. 100, and I like to make that one orange right there, and I'm going to leave it one. And then the last one I'm going to do is the highlight, the 200. I like to leave it green, leave it one, go. So you've got the 50, simple, 100, simple, 200, simple. And apply, and there you go. And again, there's some other indicators I use paid. We'll get to that in another video, but right now, that is all you need, okay? There's other things that you can add. We'll talk about that as we go through the uh, the library. But that's how I want you to set set up your study sets for right now. These Bollinger Bands, the 8 Exponential, 21 Exponential, 34 Exponential, 50 Simple, 100 Simple, 200 Simple, and then the TTM Squeeze, okay? The TTM Squeeze. Now, if you want to save it, a couple things. First, what I would recommend is go to Style, and save as and then you can give it any name you want so you can just put main study set I'm gonna put class class study set okay without and I'm just gonna without radium fire pro I use another indicator called radium fire pro but you don't need it right now class study set and then you need to click that box include patterns in study set and click save so now when you go up here to style, if you go to load style, you can look at your thing. Now you won't have all these that I have, but you'll find yours and it'll be right there. Class study set. So if I, let's say I go here on Ford and I just anywhere, like right here, double click it. Okay. So all I did was, let me back it out. I just double click right there. Now. I have three windows, so right here, if you want to make it three, you can just go like right here, one, it'll be one, or you can go two, or you can go three. So I'm going to do two really quick just to show you something, two. So let's say I wanted this study set to look just like that. So first of all, you see this little wheel, it's blue. I need to connect it blue. We'll talk about that in another video. Now, you see how this one looks completely different? All I've got to do is go to style load style and go to the one that you did class study set without ready fire boom and it automatically loads it okay now if i wanted to get it back to one i can either go up here and make it one or i can just literally pick a side right click and go to maximize cell maximize cell now if you wanted to save this is you saved a minute ago as a style now, if you wanted to save this workspace, you can go to Setup, Save Workspace As, give it a name. So again, we're going to call this the Class Workspace. Class Workspace 
without Ready Aim Fire Pro. Class Workspace without Ready Aim Fire Pro, and click Save. Cool. Now all you gotta do is go up here to Setup, and then you can easily, it'll have your study set. So this one right here is Class Workspace. So you can save workspace, okay? So you can build different chartings, save the style, save the workspace, but that's what you need to do right now for setting up your indicators to go through this course, some of the primary ones that I use. Hopefully you enjoyed that training video lesson, and we'll see you inside of another video lesson. Hey, thanks for watching my video tutorial on the Thinkorswim platform. If you enjoyed that content, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell to be notified whenever I shoot a brand new video, and make a nice comment if you haven't done so yet. This was a video tutorial, but I have tons of videos on strategies, right? How do we trade, right? What's the most appropriate strategy for when the market's at support? Or what is the appropriate strategy when a market's at resistance? So make sure you check out my TTM Squeeze playlist and all my other videos related to strategy. And if you want to know, uh, if you want some information on the Ready Aim Fire Pro or the Squeeze Pro, down below you should see a link to Simpler Trading. I am affiliated with Simpler Trading and you can see all the bonuses that I give. So if you get those indicators through my link, I'm going to hook you up with all those bonuses that are in the description below. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching. That's the bell. We'll see you inside the next video lesson.